Hello again, it's Priscilla Batts Allen Spring of Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery with some with a 14 by 14 inch gallery wrapped canvas and some mead and white paint that I'm going to spread in a layer. Then I'm going to use the tiny little bit of paint that's left over in the bottom of the cup. I poured a dirty sweep. <laughs> that sounds weird. I call sweeps when they go from one corner to the other of a canvas. And I don't know if that's exactly what's going to happen again, but I do have my same colors handy. I'm going to try and use a few fewer of them in larger, larger puddles inside the container. I need some paint to flow paint, but I don't want a humongous amount. I'm not trying to do a smear, which really does require quite the heavy layer of paint. But you never know, it could turn into that. That's a bubble. I will eventually torch to release the bubbles caught in my paint, but in the meantime, I'm pretty sure that this OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula will annihilate the vast majority of anything by squishing it. All right, so here's the color that I have left, which I'm pretty sure you can't see. And I'm gonna use my turquoise from Folk Art that's color shifting, and a little bit of turquoise from Artist Loft that's metallic that's called Cobalt blue for some reason I cannot imagine. Here's some Manita's white metallic as filler. I'm going to use a little bit of 24 karat gold. It's plugged. Okay, so I have my 24 karat gold that has orange in it, and I guess that's going in there instead. I'm going to throw a little bit of my folk art neon purple that has iridescent pearl fine in it. Then some of the amethyst from Artist Loft. Then I'm going to take a risk on some Venetian blue from Modern Masters and dioxazine purple. And then I want, oh boy, I really want that gold to be open. <laughs> Well, it's pretending it wants to be open too, but it's not coming out very well. All right, we'll give it a go. Um, here's some orange. It's a master's touch from Hobby Lobby. And there's some yellow with master's touch from Hobby Lobby orange in it. So the only thing that I have left that I really want is to put, I kind of want some red in there too, actually, but I've got, my mead and black paint. And I'm going to force a bunch of that in there. I hope that I can spin this turntable just ever so slightly and get a few of my bottles out of the way. And if I want something else, it's all very handy. I didn't put any red in there and I'm going to. Wish me luck. Here goes nothing. I forgot when the canvas is wet, I can't tip my canvas, but I can put some more red in there or some more purple. And dribble. And if I want any other colors, I better think about that right now. I really kind of miss the red I was expecting to be in there. And I had hot orchid in my last one and I don't have any of that in here. So I'm thinking I could put a marble in that. That'd be kind of neat. You know what else? The Venetian blue. Oh, I like that. I'm going to hit this really quick with a torch just to stimulate any cell production that might happen to be wanting to come forward. I really, I really missed the gold and that gold is too strong for me right now. So I am going to open this up, clear out the tip and get on with adding some Decor Americana 24 karat gold, which is what I want. Either that or if I can lay my hands on it really quick, which I don't seem to be able to be doing. I have a small bottle 
I do. <laughs> I had a small bottle of iridescent gold. There it is. Cool. Let's use both. And since I'm doing this, I'm inclined to blow into this with a straw just to see what's lurking. The iridescent pearl, the iridescent gold that's from Golden is a lot lighter in color. I really want some, I really want some paint on my arm? No, that's not what I was going to say. I really want some black in here. And I might wind up with some, wanting some white also. I saw that thing come out. Where's my tweezers? Where are they? Whatever you are, you need to go away now. Look at that. I'm getting good at that. So, let's do what I said I was gonna do. This really would be perfect for smearing. Huh. Absolutely. That red is too red right there on that corner. So I'm just gonna camouflage it a little bit. If I tip and don't like what's going on, I will smear. but I might really like what I have. I wouldn't mind it going over the edge, but I don't have an edge catcher yet, and I want to at least grab one. Peel one up from the rest. Whoops, I left too many bottles in the way for a moment. I put a spacer over here next to my bottle so I would know what was in the way and what wasn't, but then I started to ignore it, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so basically, I want these colors to meet that edge. Spinning turntable. Side. And it's still heavy enough paint, so if I wanted to, I could definitely smear. I'm doing this with the opposite hand I'm used to, so forgive me for being a little bit, a little bit gummy. Let's get rid of that beautiful orange color that's all over my hands right up at the top. I want more orange. That's That pretty much did it for me. It told me right there I, that's what I wanted, right in the middle. What I really want to do is take my airbrush to it, and I don't know why. I am so tempted to smear, but I do have Oxo omelet turning flip and fold spatula and plenty of paint right here and my edge catcher that I'm going to use right over the edge two times now I said straw So let's see what emerges with it just blowing. I don't think very often have I just blown into something. I have paint left in my cup. And 
I don't like to waste it, and it's still a beautiful turquoise. Black, gold, pink color. Still all the colors. And I need a little paint down there anyway. Sometimes I just want to take the paint and go. And I guess I'm just going to do that because right, the next thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a smear. Whoops. <laughs> this one got away. All right, that's going in my bucket. This is getting some Anita's White Metallic. And some Hot Orchid. If I can lay my hands on it, there it is. And I'm gonna grab a smear tool and look really quickly for my Amsterdam Black which is right here. And I want some Amsterdam white also. And I have it. Maybe we'll start with the Amsterdam white. And what else? What else while I'm right here? Let's just take that. Have a go. There's a start. Now I'm thinking about the Amsterdam black. I'm going to wipe off my tool. And I could really use a little more white, I think, and one of my round tools. Because I did one of these recently, and the center turned out to be... a little darker than I wanted it to be. And I think it's still waiting to be fixed. And it might get a colorful a colorful fix. These little tools are great for fixing the edge of a gallery wrap canvas too. Maybe not as good as on a thinner one, but pretty good. All right, so I think I'm going to tip before I go on because I really like that orange color. And I want more of that pink as well. I do like the white. And the gold. I like a lot of things about this. So I have to think now <laughs> what I want to do. And I definitely want to take some of the black, which is now officially plugged. Come on, out you come. Don't explode, please. Oh, that's a long string. Wow. And is there another one? Yes, there is. Whoa. Got two long strings, like two inches long. I am expecting that those will fill in. I mean, I can steal some paint in the last place <laughs> that strand was stuck to my finger. There we go. Don't ask me, that's the Amethyst Purple from Artist Loft. Color I really like. Almost as much, if not exactly as much, as the Cobalt Blue that's actually turquoise.
All right, I think it's up to small tools if I'm going to do anything else. And I'm inclined to put a little bit of a little bit more white. Where's my straw? There it is. I think that's spit. <laughs> Pretty sure. Take a little bit of that pink and put it right over the edge where it belongs. Hot Orchid from Color Art. Oh, I like that. Matter of fact, I like it so much it's going right over here. All right, I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork, and if you want to make an inquiry, you're welcome to do that, and you'll find my email address directly under the link tree, the first blue link under the video. Also on the link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for the al to see the albums of YouTube artworks. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more will take you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com to see some of the 1400 items that I've got there. I think I'm going to leave the odd little marks and, and leave all of this just as it is, as strange as it, as it is, because I've got beautiful cells and I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Right after I move a little more pink there. Yeah, I've got some strange shapes and I like all of them. <laughs> some different patterns. The white's great. The black turned out great. I think things cells are just going to keep right on popping. If I have some extra paint, I'm going to touch up my edges where I need to, and I don't need to too badly in most of the places. I love you guys. There's over 93,000 of you subscribed, and if you're a new subscriber, please be welcome. If you're not a new subscriber, thank you so much for still being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. I am going to grab whatever it takes right now off of my edge catcher if I have something. I forget that white, a white base coat is my nemesis sometimes because it will interrupt. There was red below it, so it seemed like a natural <laughs> a natural thing for me to do. Um, I love you guys. Check out my Le Gallerist. It's my new clothing line from Montreal. It's the top link on the link tree. Check out the exhibition video on the end screen in the last 20 seconds of any video and it will show you what the next month's prizes are for the drawing winner. If you are a contributor through PayPal or Patreon, you can find the icons on my YouTube channel banner in the bottom right hand corner. You're automatically entered if you use them in my monthly drawing. There's usually paintings, sometimes there's books, occasionally there's calendars. I'm filling in that corner just because it seemed like a good idea. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm distracted because I want to finish my painting. But I should tell you guys that I have over 2,000 videos. And if you're interested and you can't find a link, please ask me. I can always help you. I have everything organized by the topic and genre and by the hundred. What else? Give, please give me a thumbs up. When you share my videos, you help me out. When you watch longer, it's the most help you can give me. It tells the YouTube algorithm that I'm a channel worth seeing if you watch right away. But it, actually, I'm to the point where I don't, I don't mind as much as I used to. I'm kind of used to being last in the pack. <laughs>